drinking and driving will be the same. So in the first one, I'll allow you to be the pressurer, okay? You're going to be the pressurer, and you're going to be the, he's the person that has the car, okay? And he's been drinking. And even though he's been drinking, you're going to ask him to give you a ride someplace, okay? Yeah. Punch up. What? Hey, Punch. What's up? Where you at? Where you at? I'm at the trap. Where you at? Come pick me up. It's bad. I'm drunk and high. Man, come pick me up. I'm about to get drunk and high too. So. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know which one's the gas pedal. I'm you dumb. You. <laughs> Just come on. Well, we we gonna catch you something. I'm too high. It don't matter. <laughs> All right, then right, cut. Okay. So people in the audience, what did we notice that time about Poncho? He really drunk. He really drunk. What did y'all notice about Poncho? He looked really drunk. How did you tell? Could you tell that he really did not want to come pick you up? Uh, I wouldn't even really trip it out of one of my You just wanted your ride. Okay. And, all do the same. and you was going to do the same thing as once you got there. Okay, so now, how did you feel about yourself knowing that you gave in to him and that you couldn't put your life at risk? You gave him a ride, but how do you feel about yourself? Uh, uh, yeah, I could have killed him. You could have killed him and who else? <coughs> and yourself. So how do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, think about what you're saying. Disappointed. You you are disappointed in yourself, knowing that you put yourself in harm's way. I second disappointment. And you're disappointed in yourself or in him? Because I was him. But you were the one pressuring him. But yeah, but I, I wanted to want to drive him. Uh, <laughs> so you wanted to drive, you got what you wanted, and in a way you still disappointed that he went along with you because you know in the long run that wasn't a very safe choice. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, not quite. How do you feel about him right now? You think he's a good friend to you? He's still a good friend, even though he convinced you to do something that's kill you. How do you feel about him? Y'all oh, yeah. still tight? Now listen to that. So they put this... I want you guys to think about this. We're going to do it again. I want you guys to really think about what just happened. These two people put themselves in a situation where they could both be seriously hurt and they still think they have a good friendship. Think about that. That's because we get a lot of free. See, this is what I'm saying. Don't think about that. All right, so this time... Don't get drunk every week. You might be drunk and you might be hot, but it is your deepest desire to say no, and you're gonna be super reasonable. I oh, you can. You have to be able to say no this time, Pancho. You gotta be drunk and high. Just because you drunk and high, someplace deep down in your heart, you have good enough sense to know that this would kill you, and you are going to be able to say no. You got it? Alright, alright. Let's go. Punch. I need a ride, bro. No. <laughs> nah, nah, like for real this time. I need a ride. I'm glad I'm too high to drink. Okay. I got faith for you right now. I'm just yeah. gonna do it. Alright, it's good, bro. It's All right, good. Alright, then cut. Okay. So people in the audience, what did you notice this time? He kept looking down. And when he said no. And he looked back when he denied him. What about his body? Because I was like, is he serious? He looked worried. He looked worried? No, he didn't know how to be Because he looked worried that he didn't know what he was doing. All right, so how do you feel about yourself this time? I didn't give him a ride. You feel bad you didn't give him a ride, but how do you feel about the fact that you saved your own life? Grateful or less? I don't know. You know, so how do you feel about your friendship with him? You feel bad you didn't give him a ride? You think you still gonna be friends? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You still pretty sure? So how do you feel about him this time now that he didn't give you a ride and kept you in a safe 
situation. Cool, I'm not tripping off that line because I had another guy. <laughs> you had a, you had another <laughs> backup friend. So when the other guy was too drunk, he was still cool with it. All right, let's flip this scene. And this time, you are going to be the pressure. Okay? Now, uh, this time's David. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, what's your name? Imani. 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 This time, it is your deepest desire to say no, but you don't know how to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to lecture him, and you're going to go along with him anyway. So you with me? So now this time, you drunk and high, and he's calling you, asking you for a ride. Okay? All right, let's go. Man, bro. What's up, Imani? Hey, yo. I'm at the back of the school. Come give me a ride. Bro, I'm drunk, man. Come on, I ain't trying to talk. Bro, I. I'm drunk, bro. You don't want to ride for me.
right now, Pancho, about your inability to stand straight. You need to think about that internally, and I'm being really serious right now, because right now, think about this. You've already put your life in danger, and you need to get this ability to stand straight because it might be the only thing that saves you from getting in a car with a drunk and high person and actually ending up dead one night. So we, let's work on this for real. Let's try to see if you can't do it. What's up, you want know, to do? Smoking and drinking, bro. I'm at the liquor store, come pick me up. Nah. Come on, I'm with my cousins, we got Joe and Drank. I got Joe and Drank too, I'm good. Well, you can get more John with him. I'm cool, bro. Y'all can walk. Bro, we got to smoke y'all for free. I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, now did you guys notice what David just did? What did he do? He hung up that phone. I mean, he mine, I'm sorry. And he dropped it. Okay, how do you feel about him this time? He's still my partner. He's still your partner, but you wasn't going to do it. How do you feel about him this time? Next time. Next time? So, are you still friends with him? And so you're okay with him telling you no? Yeah, you're all right with that. So then, you see, then this time it really wasn't so hard to accept the no as a response, was it? All right. So how do you feel about him as your friend? Y'all still cool? Yeah. What about you? How do you feel about him? Y'all still cool? So you see how you could resolve the issue in a safe manner and still end up being a friend? All right. So then, Imani. I want you to take off your name tag, say your real name. David. Thank you. And Pancho. There. There. And give these two people a big hand. They did a really good job.